Good morning everybody from um, grey and cloudy Germany but at least it's not foggy as it was last night and uh, good afternoon, good evening if you're in other time zones much safer I suppose just to say hello <laughs> nice to be here again it's uh, LEN Live Chat with me, yours truly, Lynn and um, let's get straight on with it see what's been happening on the Live Chat page it's been quite quiet um, because I think mostly because Zeb's away, but a couple of you have been uh, active and I'll pad out, I'll probably pad out the rest of the broadcast um, with some other stuff going on around the network. As you know, we're, we're kind of spread out a little bit. A bit like thinly spread butter. So uh, let's crack on and see what we can do. And we'll begin with April, who commented on my last week's, um, this is really my sort of note to say, this is where I recorded up to, uh, my last week's, don't forget to listen to today's live chat recording for any corrections. <laughs> and April replied, I didn't forget to listen, Lynn. I only forget now how the corrections are. So I think what you wanted to say was, April, uh, I didn't forget to listen, Lynn, but I've forgotten um, what the corrections were. OK, and um, I just laughed at that and said, I can only hope some of it sticks, April. <laughs> and April quite rightly said, it's just not easy to find it again in the recording. I can't copy and paste it. Um, and you can kind of. Uh, my reply to April was just download the recording from Spreaker and cut and paste from your audio software. Audacity is free. And please feel free to download the recordings onto your computer so you can listen or your I don't know, anything you want to use, your um, iPod thingy, <laughs> uh, your, your car stereo system, I don't mind. Um, and feel free to cut the bits out that are interesting to you and throw away the rest, OK? So if you want to keep the recordings, please feel free to. The only thing I ask you is um, don't republish them under your own name. Um, if you do want to republish bits, do, but link back to the um, network if you don't mind, please, pretty please, OK? Quite a lot of work goes into the network, so I don't mind people sharing as long as they give full um, sort of acknowledgement of all the hard work everybody's put in, really. <laughs> so, April, download. It's for, it's fine. From Spreaker, it's absolutely fine. And I think you can even, um, if you are interested in one of the older recordings, we can only keep a few recordings on Spreaker. Quite a few, but um, they will slowly disappear as we keep adding more, uh, but you can go to YouTube and I don't mind if people also copy the YouTube um, audio recordings as well. It's it's really fine by me. OK, so uh, Tita then came in and said, hi, somebody is here. Oh, who was it? <laughs> I was so tempted to say who. <laughs> I think what you wanted to say, Tita, is, is anybody here? Um, I kindly replied, hi, teacher. I must have been in a hurry because normally I'd go, why, who's there? <laughs> is somebody here? That's a question. Somebody is here. That's a statement. So if you're in a haunted house at night with spooky music playing and somebody goes, somebody's here, then everybody gets really scared. Um, and if you're just uh, walking into a haunted house um, and the spooky music playing is playing and you go, is somebody here? Then everybody's not quite as scared, OK? Um, but still pretty spooky with the music playing. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. Tita uh, then said, I want to improve my English. Tita, I capital I uh, and English capital E. But well done, you got that full stop at the end of the sentence. Good on you. Um, Never heard again from Tita, even though I did say hello. So, I don't know. They just come, they go, I want to improve my English, and they go. Well, I hope it helped you improve your English. But I doubt it somehow. <laughs> Farah went, hi, uh, which is H-Y-E. No, it's H-I, Farah. Much easier, much simpler to write hi or just hello. And I went, hi, Farah. And Farah went, ah, ran away. Although, admittedly, I was a little late in saying hello to Farah. If you tend to post at the weekend, I tend to not be around much at the weekend. I'm doing other stuff. OK. Haruko came and said, hi, anybody here? Again, Haruko, capital H. When you begin a sentence, the first letter is always capitalised. OK. And I replied, hi, Haruko. And Haruko ran away screaming. Uh, I love this word. Bandopant chincholka. Chin Please let me know if I made a mess of that. But uh, wrote, hi, anyone here? OK, so hi, capital H, 
and then you can put a comma and a new line and if you don't do the comma and the new line or a new line then the a if you're going to write it like it's a letter the f it's very odd because in germany they don't do this they do they do the greeting and then they start the next line with a small letter but in english letter writing we do the greeting and then we start the next line with a capital letter so your a there would be capitalized and then you'd need a question mark at the end so is there anybody here um and it's a question so you need a question mark at the end of your sentence okay and i wrote hi banderpant and banderpant ran away screaming <laughs> Our wind came in about five days ago and said, welcome back, <laughs> which I presume was to me or everybody. I'm not sure. Um, if you're going to say welcome back to a person, put their name. So welcome back, Lynn. Or if you're going to say it to the whole group or anybody who might um, arrive, you say welcome back, everyone. OK. Um, how have you spended your Christmas holidays? Alwyn said. So uh, how did you spend your Christmas holidays? Uh, good question mark at the end, but you only need one and you don't need the dot, dot, dot because that's a sentence in itself. Um, or you could say, how have you spent your Christmas holidays? Um, how have you been spending your Christmas holidays? But that would imply we're still on holiday and we're not. And I replied, hi, Alwind, it was lovely. We visited friends and family. What did you get up to? Did you have a nice time? And Alwind said, absolutely. I have a good time all time long. <laughs> So what you could say there, Alwind, is absolutely, I always have a good time or I have a good time uh, all the time. OK, uh, you could say all day long, yeah, but or all week long, uh, but not all time long. So all the time or uh, always. OK, then Amatsu replied to Alwind and said, hi, Alwind, happy belated New Year. I had a very relaxed and enjoyable holiday time. How did you spend your time? And Alwyn said, I spend my time to listen to the music by my hi-fi. I stay at home all time long. OK, so I spent my time listening to music uh, on my hi-fi. I stayed at home the whole time. OK, um, Amatsu replied, that's a long time. Here's a bonus correction. Oh, Amatsu, <laughs> this is voice correction, not text correction. <laughs> and she wrote, I spent my time listening to music from my hi-fi. Would you really say from? I'd say on my hi-fi um, because I would say it's on the radio, it's on the television. But never mind. I stayed at home the whole time. Perfect. April also um, wished Alwind a happy new year. So she said, hi, Alwind, happy new year. Holiday? <laughs> every day is a holiday for me. So I didn't do anything particular during Christmas holiday. OK, so every day is a holiday for me, comma. So I didn't do anything particular during the Christmas holidays or over the Christmas holidays. OK, um, Alwind went, lucky you, April. If you tell me that, my thought is then is then you never be at work or you love your work a lot. So Alwind, you could say lucky you, April, with a capital A because it's her name. And again, no need for three exclamation points. Um, just one would do. Lucky you, April, and no dot, dot, dot. The dot, 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 the ellipses is to say, oh, you know what I'm going to say next. Uh, or and I'm not going to tell you any more or I'm about to talk about something unrelated to this subject or this this conversation will continue somewhere else yeah it's to show there's something missing so if it's a statement you don't need it okay that's one of the things that's being affected a lot by the internet is people are overusing dot 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 they're overusing uh, exclamation marks all over the place is it a bad thing <laughs> it is if you're sitting a test okay <laughs> Um, and then you could say, Alwind, uh, when you tell me that, um, I think that you, ne you're, you never work um, or maybe you love your work a lot. OK, full stop. So um, you can't say if you tell me that. Um, you could say if you say that, but she has told you. OK, um, if you say that, I think you never go to work or uh, when you said that or when you say that, I think you never go to work. And April went, I don't have any office work more, but housework is also work, don't you think? OK, so April, um, I don't have any office work anymore, but housework is also work, don't you think? And then you'd need a little comma after work. Nice ending with the question mark. And Alwind went, yes, of course, I think so. And again, lots of exclamation marks there. <laughs> it's like you're going, yes, of course, I think so. Yay! <laughs> 
<laughs> so, Alwind, capital Y for yes. Yes, of course, I think so. And that's all you'd need. Yes, of course, comma, I think so. Um, and I replied, that's why it has work as a suffix, April. I mean, it's called housework, homework. It's all work. <laughs> Um, so, Alwind, I hope you've heard this. April then uh, came in a couple of days ago and uh, it was like true confessions, April. She wrote, I've eaten too much this evening. <laughs> a friend of mine invited me for dinner. It's only a dinner in a centre for seniors, so the most diners are seniors, but some of them asked their children and grandchildren this evening. It was Friday evening after all. Anyway, my friend who reached the age of 75 today invited us, me and another four, and we had a good time. The meal was quite good. Fish cocktail as entree, then tomato cream soup, then chicken with mushroom sauce and potato croquettes as main course, and havanese as dessert. I'll tell you what this meal cost. 10 euros per person. Ah, so cheap, isn't it? So, um... Now, I'd be tempted to say a friend of mine invited me to dinner, OK? Um, and in a centre for seniors, yeah, I wouldn't say that. Um, in a centre for senior citizens, maybe. I'd need to know more about the place itself to give you um, real help with this. But if it's a, a residential centre, then it would be an old people's home in the UK or maybe a nursing home or a retirement home. Um, if it was just like a community centre um, and this was only a dinner for senior citizens, then I'd say senior citizens. OK, um, not seniors. <laughs> seniors could be from school, you know, it's like <laughs> it's too ambiguous. OK, so for senior citizens. Uh, so the most most of the diners were senior citizens or were elderly, I would say. But some of them asked their children and grandchildren this evening. That was nice. It was Friday evening after all. That's fine. Um, OK, and then you mentioned tomato cream soup. We, we say cream of. Cream of tomato soup. Um, chicken with mushroom sauce. Lovely. Potato croquettes as a main course. And havanese as dessert or for dessert, I would say. Um... I'd, I'd be tempted to you to say your menu as um, fish cocktail as a starter, then cream of tomato soup, followed by chicken with mushroom sauce and potato croquettes uh, for the main course and havanaise for the dessert. And um, the 10 euros, I'm still gobsmacked at how cheap that was. I'll, I'll go and eat there any time. <laughs> be cheaper than cooking for yourself. Um, so I replied, cheap as chips, which means really cheap. OK, it's sort of a little idiomatic saying. I know you like idioms. Nobody liked it, though. Nobody voted it up. Hmm. I'm miffed. And Amatsu was also surprised. Um, you can tell we come from the UK, don't you? They don't call it rip-off Britain for nothing. And um, Amatsu said, April, that is amazing value. Now, that's good use of exclamation marks because she was surprised. I can't think of anywhere in England where you would get such good value. Mind you, I'm not an OAP yet. <laughs> so maybe I'm just not looking in the right place. <laughs> Absolutely. Ah, you got a vote up, Amatsu. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> hey, these things do matter, you know, especially when you spend as long on the internet as I do. <laughs> I like likes, I like vote ups and I like badges, OK? <laughs> So Thomas uh, then came in and said, hi, guys, how are you there? Uh, question mark at the end, Thomas. OK. And uh, I replied, hi, Thomas, I'm fine. Thanks. How are you? Um, and April replied, but I'm not sure if Thomas will ever find this. When you reply to somebody, click on reply under the post. You'll see there's reply and share. You can share to Facebook or LinkedIn or um, Twitter or any other social network practically um, or you next to it there's a little button called reply and if you reply then they get a notification okay so April replied to Thomas in a separate thread I'm fine Thomas but I'm hungry now so I'll eat a baguette a half of it actually and some soft cheese uh, you wouldn't say a half of it just half of it yeah, half of it actually and some soft cheese. This time it's ramble with walnut. And I know I've replied to this, but it's not showing up. I replied something along uh, the lines of interesting name for a cheese. Um, if you left out the L, because then it would be Rambo with walnut. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why it didn't turn up, but it hasn't yet. Maybe um, this is one of the problems with Discuss. It can it can slow down a bit. So um, Tot then said hi. 
and asked an interesting question, which was, um, I would like to know which one is correct. I'm always cute. I'm cute as usual. Thanks. And um, I gave my favourite reply. It depends. In fact, I said it depends on context, which I was being kind. Um, and I then wrote, if you want people to know that is your usual state, just say, I'm cute. If someone mentions that you're cute, you could reply, I'm always cute. And if you want someone to know why you're behaving in a particular way, you could say, I'm being cute as usual. OK, so Tot, I hope that helped. Um, it really you know, just asking a question about something you say without putting the context of where you are, who you're saying it to. It's a little difficult to reply to questions like that. It's always, sometimes I say to people, it's better if we talk about this because some things are just so complex. Uh, you need to talk it through and have a, a dialogue about it. OK, and then and now Sarah's joined us and Sarah said, how can I join the live chat? The live chat? <laughs> how can I join live chat? And I replied, uh, you just did. <laughs> this is sort of text chat. So it's not um, like our other sessions where we talk with voice. We, we chat literally keyboard, fingers, tap, 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 tap. And then I record um, the messages either from the last week or live, uh, which is where the live bit comes in and you get your corrections. OK, so um, hopefully you understand that now, Sarah. Straight down the rabbit hole again. Sorry, that's a little in joke between Sarah and I. <laughs> uh, I hope you've got my message. The only problem is that can be a, a delay in live chat. If Discuss is very busy, you won't get my message um, instantly. But um, it's all good. It just means take your time. Think about what you're saying. OK. And I'd just like to add a couple of little corrections for Awana as we have time this week. I know Awana was um, um, active on live chat, but she was actually replying to older threads on live chat, which don't pop up to the top of the record um, for recording or correction. So do be careful. Try and keep it current. It's it's a complete flow. Um, and uh, if you reply to something from a month ago, I won't normally catch it. OK, I don't have time to scan that far back. But um, Oana said, uh, Happy New Year, Aladdin. Happy New Year to everyone. I'm happy to be back after a long break. And I asked her if she'd had a nice break. And uh, she replied, uh, I enjoyed indeed. I charged my batteries. Now I'm back at work till Easter. OK, so um, I enjoyed indeed. You, you need to say what you enjoyed. Yes, I enjoyed it a lot rather than indeed. Indeed, I enjoyed it. It's a little bit Oscar Wilde-y. Um, so I enjoyed it a lot. I recharged my batteries. OK, and now I'm back at work till Easter. And as I reminded uh, Oana, the Easter eggs are in the shops already in the UK. <laughs> Anybody who's been listening to the news recordings will know that. So it's not that far till Easter, Oana. And Oana replied, thank you, Lynn. So, yeah, do be careful if you're going. To, I mean, by all means, reply to older posts. That's fine. But don't listen to the live chat recordings expecting to get a correction. I'll probably miss it. You can always give me a little nudge and give me the link to the post and then I'll try to include it. OK, so as I said, quite a short one this week. Not a lot of activity. Come back, Zeb. <laughs> But don't worry, because uh, the network's a network for a reason. And I would like to just mention a couple of people and give a couple of bonus corrections, believe it or not, from Facebook, which I don't often mention, because really I only use Facebook for silliness. It sounds mean, but it's true. It's, it's good for sharing silly things. And it seems for letting me know when there's a problem on the network. Anyhow, I'd like to say hi to Marwa Handi, um, who wrote in Facebook, uh, good afternoon, I'm facing a problem now with your website regarding to the English lessons. It's giving me only the title of the lesson and the rest of the page is blank with dark colour and that's it. Appreciate your help. OK, so first of all, Marwa, um, thank you for reporting this. Honestly, we are a very small group of people and I'm about as techy as we get. And sometimes we do break things. I break things, me. There was just literally one rogue div and that's what broke it okay it was just one five five characters broke the whole website so thank you so much for letting me know here's a bonus correction good afternoon i'm facing a problem with your website um regarding the english lessons 
Uh, I'm only getting the title of the lesson and the rest of the page is blank and completely black and that's it. Uh, I appreciate your help and I replied to Marwa saying hi what operating system and platform are you using? Have you tried clicking on refresh? And uh, Marwa said I'm using Windows 7 and yes I've tried to refresh the page many times which was perfect Marwa and again thank you very much I hope that little I'll give you the link to this and I hope that little correction will help you. And another quick shout out to Pradeep Chaudhary, who wrote in, funny enough, the um, lesson uh, part of the website, lesson A, um, wrote, your uh, website page is not full opening than now, what should I do? Okay, so I kind of got what you were trying to tell me, Pradeep. So what you would have written is your website page or your web page, uh, Y-O-U-R with a capital Y, is not opening fully, full stop. What should I do? And I, capital I, W, capital W, question mark. No space between the do and the question mark. And again, thank you Pradeep for reporting it. Uh, it should be working now. Let me know if you're still having problems. OK, and on the grammar chat page, Arun Kumar said, Hello teacher, how are you? I want to improve my English in all aspect, reading, writing and speaking. I have na navigated your site and found it very useful. I have doubt about following sentences. Has this been taken care of? Has this been taken care? Which one is correct and how? Also, if there is any mistake, grammatical or vocabulary in my comment, please let me know. Hey, I'm going to let you know. I hope you get this. I'll give you the link, Aaron. So, hello, teacher. I just write uh, teacher with a small T because it's not my real name. OK, I just happen to be a teacher. How are you? Perfect. I want to improve my English in all aspects. And then you could put in a, a colon just to say, I'm going to give you a list of all the aspects of English. Reading, writing and speaking. OK, I would add in there listening as well. Listening. Why do people always forget listening? Listening is how you started to learn your first language. You listen to words being spoken by uh, the people around you. And you couldn't read then and you certainly couldn't write then and you couldn't speak then. So all you had to do was listen. So listen, listen, listen. Uh, try and overemphasize the listening above reading and writing and above all speaking <laughs> listen and speak listen and speak and then read about it and write about it too okay i have navigated your site and found it very useful yay i'm very glad um i have some doubts about the following sentences or i have a doubt about the following sentences and um the correct sentence i'll tell you aaron is has this been taken care of okay uh it's in the passive so you're not bothered about who took care of it. You just want to know that it has been taken care of and you need that preposition of at the end. Yeah. Could you take care of this for me? Yeah. And um, to take care of is a phrasal. OK. Somebody asked for more phrasal verbs the other day. I looked on the internet. There's millions of them. So I'm not sure um, how I'm going to add to that font of knowledge that is the World Wide Web on phrasal verbs. <laughs> Uh, we can do a chat about it in one of the sessions, maybe on a Friday session. I'll mention a few each week and uh, we can talk about them. But yeah, they are important and often you'll find that they've got a preposition in there and the preposition actually alters everything. The thing is, if you say to somebody, take care, you're telling them to be careful. If you say to somebody, take care of this, you're asking them to look after it for you. OK. And another special mention to April. Thank you, April, for keeping it real. <laughs> April uh, checks my work and uh, points out when I've not hyphenated things or if I've spelt something wrong. <laughs> what would I do without you? I really must stop multitasking or at least get better at multitasking. And another special mention to Helvio. Helvio, I hope you hear this. Get well soon and uh, take care of yourself. OK, so see you around on the network. Um, as I say, practice your English, use it, play with it, have fun with it, uh, get out there. There's a whole big world wide web of um, people to talk with out there. So be nice and be kind. And if you can't be good, don't get caught. Bye.